India, a land so diverse that every few steps feels like a whole new world. Although transforming at a rapid pace, India boldly and fluently maintains its cultural, historical, and spiritual treasures. Join us as we explore the communities and traditions that are only in India. Agra is home to the majestic Taj Mahal, a wonder of the world that epitomizes love. Although most domestic and foreign tourists visit Agra for a view of the iconic monument, the city features dazzling tombs, wildlife sanctuaries, and vibrant markets. The decline of the Mughal Empire caused the emergence of several regional kingdoms, each leaving their legacy in art, architecture, and cultural narration. Here are seven of our recommended experiences in Agra, beyond the Taj Mahal. With a rich historical background, the Agra Fort marks its place as the most visited site after the Taj. It may be popular, but it is magnificent. Built as a military fort by Emperor Akbar between 1565 and 1573, it was repurposed as a palace by his grandson, Shah Jahan, who spent his last years detained as a political prisoner by his own son, who took over the throne. Although several of the buildings inside the fort have been destroyed, some mosques, public and private audience halls, palaces, towers, and courtyards still remain as testimony of the flourished past. Long before the Taj Mahal was built, Agra boasted of two beautiful tombs, the imposing red tomb of Emperor Akbar, which he himself commissioned and laid out, and the dainty white tomb of Itmad u Dala, commissioned by his daughter, the Empress Noor Jahan. Akbar's tomb was built in the early 17th century by Akbar's son, Jahangir. The mausoleum is famous for its white marble walls that are encrusted with semi-precious stones and adorned with fine inlays of geometric patterns and flowers. The tomb also houses the mortal remains of Emperor Akbar. Itmad Udala was the first to be made of white marble instead of the red sandstone typical of Mughal architecture and is often referred to as Baby Taj. It featured some of the most beautiful inlay work in all of Agra and is the first example of the outstanding Pietra Dura. It was this new style that was later manifested in the Taj Mahal. To enjoy the Taj and avoid any overwhelming crowds, head to Matab Bagh, or the Moonlight Garden, across the Yamanu River, one hour before sunset. The crescent-shaped park is the last of the Mughal gardens built along the Yamanu River by Babur. Sprawled over 25 acres, this glorious greenway is the perfect spot for a panoramic view of the marble monument. Step off the Agra tourist track and visit a humble cafe only a block away from the Taj Mahal. Shiro's Hangout is run and managed by survivors of acid attacks, a leading gender-related violence in India. The entrepreneurial project started to help the survivors become financially independent through education, training, and employment. The women can then support their families and use their collective voice to advocate for societal change. There are currently two branches of the cafe, with the other located in Lucknow. Shiro's also features a boutique apparel and handicraft store with items made by acid attack survivors. Enjoy a slice of Agra's colonial history with a custom-made tour. Walk through the private bungalows in the cantonment area built in the early 19th century, still well-maintained and featuring churches and cathedrals. Visit the post office, an art deco building constructed in 1905 with grand details reflecting the importance of this method of communication to the community. John Hessing's tomb, known locally as the Red Taj Mahal, was commissioned by Anne Hessing in the memory of her beloved husband. You can also explore the Telegraph Office, St. George Cathedral, St. John's College, and St. Mary's Church. Located just 80 kilometers from Agra is Chambal, a small town on the banks of the Chambal River. Chambal Valley features the National Bird and Wildlife Sanctuary, a habitat to unusual and endangered species that includes 340 species of birds which migrate from different parts of the world during winter. 
A boat ride on the pristine Chambal River provides spectacular sightings of the many migratory and resident birds flying high and the occasional glimpse of the Gangetic River dolphins breaking surface. We also recommend exploring the small villages and Hindu temples that dot the riverbank. As one of the largest bear rescue centers in the world, Wildlife SOS has been working towards ending the brutal practice of dancing bears. The organization has rescued over 600 bears, mainly from tribal communities who have been harming the cubs to entertain the public and make a living. The rescued bears have been rehabilitated in four Wildlife SOS rescue centers across India, with one located just outside Agra. A personal guided tour around the center includes a video presentation and lively discussion on bear conservation and its challenges in India. Have you visited Agra? Share your experience below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more destination inspiration.